Okay, it's Monday morning lineup. Here we are. What's going on? February 9th, and tomorrow is Lily's birthday. Oh, geez, Mike. Yeah, that's great. I think it's a national holiday. <laughs> but we got lots of other things coming up. What do we have this week? We have February 12th, I think, is pretty busy because we have the Eco Forum. Oh, yeah. And we've changed it. Uh, our neighbor, Alex Lopinski, cannot come. He's in court. He's the conservation officer. He had a court date. Oh, so we had to uh, change around a little stuff, but we've got somebody really good lined up for Eco Forum this, this week on, on Thursday. Well, who is it? It's Olivia Saunders. Olivia works at um, Cooperative Extension, UNH Cooperative Extension, and she is a food ag specialist. Wait a minute. Yeah? I know who she we is. We know Olivia. Yeah. And uh, Olivia's going to talk about seeds. This is really good because you grow plants every year. They have seeds. You could take those seeds and repot process them and plant them again. Mm -hmm. She's going to talk about that. She's going to talk about the history of, uh, of seed collection and seed and saving. Seed saving, yeah. And the whole heritage deal about uh, saving heritage seeds. So that'll be good. That's the Eco Forum this week, the 12th at noon. And of course, Flatbreads and Frontside Grind will provide pizza and coffee respectively. Mm. So that day also is Jillian Kilborn is going to be here that evening at 7 o'clock and talk about Lynx and Martin, two quite elusive animals yeah. and animals that have been extirpated or close to being extirpated in the past and have made a comeback. So we'll find out what's going on with Lynx and Martin. Um, and then, really, what, this is not the 20th, though. This, this is not the week of the 20th. No, that's, no, that's two away. That's two away, because next week is a really busy week around here, because we have winter camp for kids, survival mm -hmm. camp, mm -hmm. wildlife and tracking camp, mm -hmm. and then we take a little break and have the family festival. And then there's winter art camp. Yeah. Family festival, you don't want to miss that. 3 o'clock till 7 o'clock. There'll be pizza here. I think uh, we'll pick up some pizzas at Fry's and uh, have a little campfire, lots of games outside. Fun for the whole family. You do not want to miss that. No way. No. Especially not with all this snow. Oh, Quincy's, I think, too. Summer, I mean, the, the survival camp will be building. Quincy's, they'll probably be there and we can hang out in those nice. uh, at the uh, winter, winter festivals, so winter family festival. Uh, I want to mention that um, on the 20th, actually the 21st is Plum Island. It's always a great trip down there to see the birds. We see lots of different birds. We'll stop off at the mouth of the uh, Merrimack at Chain Bridge and see a bunch of eagles and go out to Plum Island and there's always neat stuff there. Perhaps see a snowy owl, hmm? but the day before, on Friday, that evening, at 6 o'clock, the birth of the Tin Mountain Bird Society. Oh, finally. Yes. So this is going to be great. We've been planning this for Rick Steber and, and others <laughs> here on staff. We've been working on this for uh, a couple months now. It's time to launch the Bird Society. Chris Louie will be here as a featured speaker. Everybody loves Chris. Mm -hmm. David uh, David Gavosky. If you don't love Chris, you gotta love David Gavosky. <laughs> uh, so knowledgeable, such great speakers. They'll be here to, to toast the, uh, the start of the, the society. Uh, we'll have some wine and hors d'oeuvres. So that'll be fun. So don't miss that. <laughs> what are we missing, Lily? What else is going on out there? Mm. Well, how was the how was tracking with Rick? Tracking was great with Mr. Dr. Vanderpool was great. Yeah. Uh, we saw all kinds. We saw some um, red crossbills flying. Oh. We didn't track cool. them. But we saw some great uh, otter signs. Mm -hmm. We popped up through the ice and went back down. <laughs> uh, we had some mink signs. We had a deer kill, or well, actually, I think it was a road kill that 
the coyotes got to, but they, oh, it was yeah. very good. So that, yeah, he, I liked him in his lecture. He's very, he's a, quite a Renaissance man. He knows yeah. a lot about a lot. Mm -hmm. And then first season, not yeah. too, not too uh, early to be thinking first season, March 14th, that Saturday, that evening, mm -hmm. it's our 29th dinner auction. If you have items you want to donate, contact us. You definitely want to be there, so get get your reservations in. It's going to be yummy. It'll be great. It's always great. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have. All right. guess that's it then. All right. We'll see you all next week. Bye.